everyone happy new year 2021 i hope this year brings you new hope new energy and a lot of joy this is benajil and i welcome you all in her stream as always i am back with another empowering story of another influential woman from of course nepal and in this episode i have a story to tell you about someone who was once described as the most famous nobody of nepal her contribution to Nepali politics and leadership is commendable. However, her story is yet to be unfolded. She created her Sri by being the first female Deputy Prime Minister of Nepal and the first female ambassador. She is none other than Sailaja Acharya. So let's get started with her story. Sailaja Acharya was a democratic fighter, a political leader and a diplomat. She was born on May 8, 1944 in Morang district of eastern Nepal. Her family was politically active. Her uncle B.P. Koirala was a significant player in the pro-democracy movement which inspired her to involve in politics when she was a student. Though she had an intermediate of science degree, she embraced a career in politics. She was a senior Nepali Congress leader and also served as the vice president of the party. Ms. Acharya played a vital role in ending panchayat system and restoring democracy in Nepal. The panchayat system was a party-less system that began in Nepal on December 15, 1960, when King Mahindra used his emergency power to dismiss the cabinet and control the government. He arrested political leaders, accusing them of failing to provide national leadership and maintain law and order in the country. That's how King Mahindra overthrew the first democratically elected government by banning all the political parties and held absolute power. That day is also called the Black Day in the history of Nepal. King Mahindra further jailed Prime Minister B.P. Koirala, including other ministers. B.P. Koirala spent the next eight years in prison and another eight years in exile in India. The public protested and demonstrated against the royal coup of King Mahendra. On February 18, 1961, Ms. Acharya showed a black flag to King Mahendra in response to his royal coup. King in Nepal was considered not just a supreme leader but also a divine power and a manifestation of Lord Vishnu. And showing a black flag to the king was considered a heinous crime that nobody dared to do it. However, Ms. Acharya did it anyway. Her brave act of showing a black flag to King Mahendra is considered one of the milestone events in the account of Nepali's struggle for freedom and democracy. Sailaja Acharya was given three years term in prison for her revolutionary act when she was just a teenager. When she got out of jail, she went to India in exile and spent nine years with her uncle B.P. Koirala. During her time in exile, she became the president of the Democratic Socialist Youth League. She played an instrumental role in organizing the youth movement, Tarundal. Along with Tarundal, she collected and smuggled arms and ammunition for a possible armed conflict in Nepal against the panchayat system. She was also the editor-in-chief in publishing a paper called Tarun to raise political awareness in people. In 1976, Ms. Acharya returned to Nepal after her long exile in India with her uncle B.P. Koirala. But as soon as they landed at the airport, they got arrested and Ms. Acharya spent her next two years of her life in prison. The party-less panchayat system lasted for about 30 years in Nepal under the direct rule of the king. It ended with the People's Movement in 1990, which is also called Jana Andolan. The People's Movement or Jana Andolan was a multi-party movement where various political parties united and ended the absolute monarchy. The government reintroduced constitutional monarchy by eliminating the panchayat system. It also restored democracy and the king shared his absolute power with multi-parties. After the restoration of democracy, a new government was elected in 1991. Sailaja Acharya was appointed the agriculture minister in the parliament. After some time, she resigned saying there was too much corruption in the ministry. Again in 1997, she got elected to parliament as the first women minister for water resources. 
In 1998, she became the first woman deputy prime minister in Nepal. Her political journey did not just end there. In 2007, she was appointed ambassador to India, making her the first female ambassador in Nepal. Sailaja Acharya devoted her whole life to Nepalese freedom and democracy. She remained on merit and proved that marriage was not the ultimate goal of women. She set an example of a strong and an independent woman to Nepalese society where women are forced to get married to have a better life. She confirmed that a woman can have an impactful life even without getting married and inspired many women to make marriage an option and not a priority. Besides her political career, Ms. Acharya was equally active in social and philanthropic works. She also contributed to establish Sailaja Acharya Memorial Polytechnic. It is located in Morang district of Nepal. The organization works for the women empowerment and welfare. It provides accessible vocational training and scholarship to financially deprived women and girls in the community. Sailaja Acharya passed away at the age of 68 due to pneumonia and Alzheimer's. The government of Nepal awarded Ms. Acharya the honor of Maha Ujjwal Rashtradeep or Super Luminescent Light of the Nation in 2014. Some of her legacies include Nepal Press Union Morang awards Sailaja Acharya Memorial Journalism Award in her honor. Sailaja Acharya Adarsha Samas promotes Acharya's ideals. In her home district, Morang, Sailaja Acharya Memorial Scholarship is given to deserving school students. Sailaja Acharya will always remain our hero and inspiration to all of us. I hope you find her story empowering. This is all for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any comments or feedbacks, then please do write them in comment section. And yes, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and help me reach out to many people as possible with these amazing stories. I'll see you next week. Until then, you all take care, stay safe and namaste.